the first Star Wars movie released on the 25th May 1977, became a major success upon its first week of release. This movie alone made $775 million out of its $11 million budget, thanks to the unpopular cast back then. The creator of Star Wars, George Lucas himself, who only did smaller yet iconic films before, such as American Graffiti or THX 1138, never would have thought that Star Wars was going to become the first entry of the classic trilogy, which was not planned until Lucas and his team recognized the potential of this emergent franchise. It was a beneficial coincidence that 20th Century Fox did not see the importance of Star Wars based toys, books, and basically the idea of the merchandise as a whole. So Lucas came back with a deal. He was willing to accept a 305,000 pay cut as a director in order to keep the film's merchandise rights, along with the rights to any future installments. Therefore, Lucas' choice led to one of the most profitable bets in history. But the movie would have never been the famous IP we know and love today if he hadn't the right people to work with. The most major impact, even though he is widely unknown, has to be Wolf McQuarrie. George Lucas created the idea, and McQuarrie created many concept arts based on them. The artwork this duo created not only helped to convince studios to fund Star Wars, but McQuarrie's elaborate skills crafted the visual design of the entire galaxy to come. Although he only worked on the classic trilogy, his impact resulted in a huge inspiration of upcoming artists who were involved in continuing the fascination of the Star Wars galaxy. McQuarrie wanted the audience to experience a living, breathing universe like no one has ever seen before and consequently influenced the way concept artists create their own worlds forever. Supervisor director Dave Filoni, who is the creative mind of the famous TV shows Star Wars The Clone Wars and Star Wars Rebels, actually searched in old concept archives of McQuarrie to visualize some unused ideas. McQuarrie's influence is particularly seen in Filoni's second attempt to the TV industry named Star Wars Rebels. Many of the cityscapes, including Lothal's capital city, were inspired by McQuarrie's designs. Beyond the McQuarrie influence, Rebels' overall aesthetic seems to straight arise from an old Star Wars concept book. 